Hello fans, and we are in Joshua Tree. We're heading up to the Joshua Tree Park, National Park. But we got here a little later, so we're gonna do some stealth camping down at the Walmart down the road. And I uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of the area where the uh, visitor center and our bus, it's our first trip in the bus, all has gone well. So we're gonna turn around here. They got a nice little bar with some fun. Over here we got a bar, some music. And we got a couple buses around the side here that were really cool, I took pictures of. I think this first one's a band bus. It's really cool. Yeah. Then we got this Mad Max looking one over here that's just freaking cool as hell. Look at that thing. And it's set up with like a little table and in the back a sleeping area and stuff. Hasn't been moved in a while. You can tell by the dust and dirt around the bottom of the tires. But it is really freaking cool. It's freaking really cool. It's even got like a pilot thing up at the top. A little cockpit like uh, top there. That is freaking cool. And then over here... We got a little bit of like Western uh, stores and stuff besides the gift shop you saw. And uh, it's kind of really neat. It's almost like an old desert, old desert Western town here. And we got all the sirens and the motorcycles and everything going on in the background. But the pink canteen bordello. Barber shop. Really cool. Across the street right there is the National Visitor Center. For Joshua Tree. And over there too is our bus. Which I'm gonna take you over and show you for the first time on video for leg up travel remember like subscribe hit notifications and share like subscribe hit notifications share leave a message but over there is the bus there's the bus in the parking lot we're gonna have to move it's got a sign that says no loitering we we're gonna camp out there, but she's driving like a champ, and we're in the we're in the desert, big time. Signs are a little misleading. It's like, oh, Joshua Tree uh, National Park is just over here. Yeah, it's, it's not just over here. It's like another hour off the main highway, but there she be. Yeah, I got to do some work to her, clean her up a little bit. I got to finish the plumbing on it. Uh, I want to put some more solar on the top. It's got two panels, but they're only 100 watt. See the sun setting over there behind the mountains or hills, whatever you want to call them. And there she be. There she be. In all her glory. Haven't named her yet. I got to do a little bit of work. Runs like a champ. Just got to, like I said, finish the plumbing. Do some other stuff to her. 27 foot International T444E. 3800. 1998. And she's just... It's got a shower, a sink, two burner, stove top, and a refrigerator. The lady even put a newer refrigerator in her, a nice stainless steel one. But she runs great. She's not the fastest. I got her to 65. I think it's got a governor on it. 
not going much faster than that but oh got a uh, skylight in there as well a nice uh, memory foam mattress in the back it's a full plenty of storage for food and uh, clothes a little hanging area at the end of the bed and some drawers so like five or six dresser drawers uh, it's got a futon in there that you can fold out for you know a couple more people to sleep in there if you want it as well day one heading out of glendale california and we are in joshua tree national park is just up the road we're at the visitor center right now and in the morning we're gonna go check it out thanks for joining like subscribe share leave notifications leave a message leave hit notifications and <laughs> leave a message all right thanks for bearing with me it's been a long day driving especially through la traffic thanks for coming along though we'll have more of the of the uh Joshua Tree National Park tomorrow. As you can see, here is our first close encounter with some desert wildlife. It's a jackrabbit. I think he's frozen in fear, but we're really close to him. <laughs> and it's unbelievable. We've seen a big lizard and uh, I saw like a field mouse. Here you can see some rock formations. We're in the Joshua Tree National Park. In this background here, you're gonna see a snow-capped mountain over there. And way over that way to the right, is the bus mobile we're taking our first walk after driving in you're here with leg up travel like subscribe hit notifications share leave a message look at this it's unbelievable it's a beautiful day it's about 80 degrees oh my gosh there's a baby rabbit right there a baby baby one right here holy kibasa you are up close with the nature out here. It's like, they're like, screw you. You're in our neighborhood. We're not afraid. Look at this. First stop, we got quite a few more to see. Uh, topography and sites and everything, including an oasis on the way out. And then we'll be heading to some antique shops and back to I-10. Okay, here's the view from the bus. Walking back out, you can see the snow-capped mountain off in the distance. All these beautiful Joshua trees, tree of life, they're called, along the path. Heading up towards the rock formation where I was earlier, where you saw the, the rabbits and everything. Unbelievable how close you can get to the wildlife. It's crazy. Saw a couple good-sized lizards, and like I said earlier, like a field mouse, and uh, life is good. Sun's coming out now. It's getting a little warmer, but not nothing too bad. Only supposed to be a high of 83 in the desert, so that should make for an enjoyable day. It takes about an hour to drive around the park. That's not including stopping and seeing certain sites it's a big loop takes you to another town but uh it'll take us a little further away from i-10 where we have to get on i-10 east but it's all okay it's all in a day look at this so worth it this trip
We are in the Baker's Dam area now of the Joshua Tree National Forest with these amazing, huge stone formations. We've seen some lizards, cactus, everything. It's a big loop. Baker's Dam. I was playing around saying it was a hoax. There's no dams in the desert. It's a desert. There's no water out here. And some lady heard me and kind of just gave a look and went to say something. Then she just gave up. She gave up. Felt like it was fruitless or useless, whatever word you want to use to argue with me about it. But I was just kidding. So I thought it was pretty humorous uh, that the lady was like, son, that isn't what this is. Look at that. That boulder up there looks like it just wants to slide right off and come down. And these rocks are like perfectly stacked to like balance each other. It's really, really cool. So the history of this a little bit is this used to have water back in the day and cattle grazed and everything and you can walk through here and see where the river would have flowed and uh, through the formations of these rocks and everything but um, it's really cool. It's a loop, I said it's about a mile. Uh, it's warm, but it's not hot. And just unbelievable. Probably never going to make it here again. So, documenting this on Leg Up Travel. That's right. If you're watching this, subscribe. Get the word out. Tell the people. Bring the people together and tell them about Leg Up Travel. Tell them to subscribe like share hit notifications and leave a message let me know if uh if you like what you see if you like what you hear any recommendations i think i am getting better with my filming and my presentation i was pretty dry at the beginning i admit you know it's all new to me eventually i'll be getting a new camera slash phone uh, this summer with better quality, better sound, better graphics, everything. So stick with me. Put the word out. Look at this. Oh, my, my, my. My, my, my. I'm glad I took the detour. Like I said earlier, it's no half-hour detour. It's more like an hour. And, uh... A lot of hills. The bus made it okay. Slow, but it made it. This had to go to a down gear, lower gear, a couple times, but it made it. I think we're probably close to halfway through this park. It ends at an oasis, and then we're going to see Skull Rock, hopefully. And, uh, and stop there and stop at the oasis at the very end of the loop driving loop there's other places to go in here too to see there's a place like vista point uh but we're not going to be going over there and this is kind of like the uh like a basin maybe this held water for the cattle but the arrow says go that way and we shall go that way. So here's the dam. I'll be damned. I was wrong. It's Barker Dam, not Baker Dam, by the way. And there it is. Built in the early 1900s to help out with all the rainfall that was coming. And to divert the water for their cattle. And then it kind of dried up and uh, rain didn't come anymore. And they... Pretty much abandoned it and the cattle they moved and 
and the ranchers move their cattle and everything so but there's water down there there's water down there and uh it's a little marshy over in that area on the other side as you can see built up pretty neat but i can't believe it it's kind of like uh, i just can't believe it i can't believe it's not butter that's the way it is i was like I said, I'll be damned. I was wrong. Leg up travel, baby. Here is the other side of Barker's Dam. As you see, a little marshy. Coming into view, you see some willows. Another little small dam right there. They called that the, they called that the, the dam. And that little one, the dam it. And then you have over here, I don't know. I don't think it was built by the Indians. I think it was built by the ranchers still put water in there for the cattle to have a common place to drink. But yeah, you got dam. The I'll be damned and damn it. And we can name this one damn it man. Or, how about this one? This is better. Damn it, Daryl! <laughs>